so I was organizing my bookshelf the other day. Now I only had three books to work with, these three books right over here, and I'm wondering how many possible ways can I arrange these three books on my shelf? Now since we're only working with three books, it's not that many. So maybe we can draw it out, list all possibilities, and hopefully try to figure out what's really going on. So if we have three books, book A, book B, book C, any one of those three books could be the first book placed on my shelf. We could either start off with book A, book B, or book C. Now from here, let's focus on book A. If book A was the first book placed on the shelf, then that leaves either book B or book C to be placed next. So our tree would branch off like this. If book B was the first book placed, then that leaves A or C to go next. And finally, if book C was placed first, that leaves A or B to be placed after. And once two books are chosen, then there's only one book left remaining, and that goes last. So here, our tree would finish off with book C, here it would finish with book B, book C, book A, and we just continue filling this in. So now we see we've counted every single possibility, so we just add this up. We see we have one, two, three, four, five, six possible ways to rearrange three different books on a shelf. So we found the answer, which is great, but we were lucky because we only had three books to work with. What if we had five books, 10 books, 15 books? You definitely do not want to be drawing this all out every single time. So let's see if there's another way to approach this problem. And there is. So here, we're going to use a strategy that we've seen before. We're going to consider choices. So first, let's consider how many choices we have for the first book. Well, that's three choices. It could either be book A, book B, or book C that is placed first. Now for each of these three choices, we have two choices for the next book. For example, if book A was placed first, either book B or book C goes next. And finally, once two books are placed, then there's only one remaining book. So there's only one choice for that. And we see 
that 3 times 2 times 1 also gives 6. So this problem is an example where our later choices depend on some of our previous choices. So this is very different from some of the problems that we've been doing before. Before, in the license plate problem, for example, where we were allowed repeats, we could repeat a letter or repeat a digit, but this time we have no such thing as repeats. Once we place that first book, we have less choices for the next book. So the answer is not 3 times 3 times 3. Instead, here the answer is 3 times 2 times 1. So we see that there are six total ways to rearrange three different books on a shelf. Let's see if we can take this a step further. So I went out and I grabbed another book, so now we have four books. But the question is still pretty much the same. This time, how many ways can we arrange four books on a shelf? So instead of drawing everything out, we're going to work it out by considering choices. So at the start, when we have four books, we have four choices for the first book. Once we place that first book, we have three choices for the next book to be placed. After that book is placed, there are two choices for the next. And finally, there's only one choice for that last book. So the answer is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24. And just for more practice, if we had five books, the process is still the same. How many ways are there to arrange five books on a shelf? Well, we have five choices for the first book, four choices for the next, three choices after that, two choices after that, and finally, one last book as the final choice. So the answer is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is also 120. So now that we know that there are 6 ways to arrange 3 books on a shelf, 24 ways to arrange 4 books on a shelf, and 120 ways to arrange 5 books on a shelf, let's see if we can generalize the problem and figure out how many ways we can arrange n different books on a shelf. 